and somehow I had to restart it. So we have the tension over here. This is one over one, so we can do the sum. It's gonna be M capital M minus small m plus capital M plus small m all of that divided by capital M plus small m so this small mass goes away and we have two big M's. So I'm gonna continue over here. So this is the tension in the rope. This is the acceleration of the system. So we have, uh, it says that many people expect that in the special case in which big M equals small m, the two masses will naturally settle down to an equilibrium position side by side based on your answer from part B, which is this, uh, I guess this one. Is this correct? Well, when big M equals small m, this is zero, so the acceleration is zero. So if the system had some initial velocity, it would just continue moving with that velocity. It will not stop. If it didn't have an initial velocity, then it will just remain there. Acceleration is zero, which means that the change in velocity is zero. Find tension in the rope. We found it here. Interpret your equation from part D, so this equation. In the special case where one of the masses is zero. Interpret means to figure out what happens mathematically. Well, the tension is zero. And figure out what happens uh, physically. Well, You have your free body diagram, let's say for uh, capital M, and this is how we write it mathematically. If one of the masses goes to zero, then the tension goes to zero, and so G, uh, the, the acceleration of the system is just G, the acceleration due to gravity. So there's nothing to pull it up, only to pull it down, which is gravity. So you have tension is zero, you have a free fall situation. So this is a cool problem.